Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to another Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week we'll be digging into an age-old problem with the following question. Hello, I'm Bert Lattimore. I'm from Virginia in the United States. And my question concerns dinosaur ages. Somewhere I heard that the big plant-eating dinosaurs could live up to a 1,000 years. On another program or podcast, I heard that tyrannosaurs only lived 20 to 30 years, which seems very brief for such a big animal. So I'd like to know how long did the big dinosaurs live, those individual dinosaurs, and how can you tell from a fossil how long that animal lived? So how old did the very distant relative of your chicken sandwich really get? Oh, my name is Dr. John Nudds from the University of Manchester. I'm a paleontologist lecturer and I research on dinosaur eggs and embryos. The first thing we can say for certain is that no dinosaur ever lived for a thousand years, nor indeed for anything approaching that sort of time. If you compare dinosaurs to present day animals, we might expect that the very large herbivores, things like uh, Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus, which were comparable in size to an elephant, would have lived, therefore, for 70, 80 years, maybe a bit more, whereas the smaller, more agile meat-eating dinosaurs would have been more comparable to some of today's larger birds, to which, of course, they are closely related. So if you think of something like an eagle or a raven, they usually live between 20 and 30 years, and that would probably have been about the lifespan of a Tyrannosaurus rex. Now, how do we know this? Well, dinosaur bone is sometimes preserved in exquisite detail, and we can take thin sections of dinosaur bone and look at the bone histology, as we call it. That's the microarchitecture of the bone, just as we do with modern-day bone. And this has shown that some dinosaur bones, especially the, uh, the long limb bones, and also dinosaur teeth, grew in distinct layers. Now, the teeth added new layers on a daily basis, and limb bones, on the other hand, often added yearly layers. So just like counting tree rings to work out the age of a tree, we can count the annual layers in the dinosaur bone to work out the age of a dinosaur. Interestingly, some of this work has been carried out on Tyrannosaurus, and it's been shown that the largest known specimen, that's the one known as Sue, which is in the Field Museum in Chicago, would have weighed more than 5,000 kilograms when living and lived to an age of 28 years. Scientists use a sort of dendrochronology or ring counting method for calculating the age of the long dead dinosaur. Of course, you have to have some very nicely fossilised bone for this to work, and only certain places in the world have these perfect fossils that are created by a very slow mineralisation process. But that's enough earth gazing, here's a question on some stargazing. Hello, I'm Jesus Zafra from Neja, Spain, and this is my question. Knowing the possibility of life somewhere in a star like our sun, do we have any possibility of communication with our nearest stars? What kind of device should be used? Thank you very much. Bye. And I've always thought the object in this next question sounds a bit like how I'd imagine an alien. Hi, this is Nick Lacey from Margaret River, Western Australia. My question of the week is about the acoustics of the didgeridoo. Could you please explain the science behind the cubic capacity of the internal chamber of the didgeridoo in relation to its length? So if you have an alien antenna in your back garden or you know how to build a didgeridoo, then do send us an email at questionoftheweek at thenakedscientist.com or post your thoughts on our discussion-friendly forum. That's thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.